is perhaps maybe not much different because I don't have any fish to show you, but I do have the outfit that I used last night when I was out of battery power fishing down at my favorite tank. Now tonight I'm down at the Lake Leon sitting in one of their pavilions. But I thought since I'm already here, why don't I just speak to you on what's it like to be a fisherman? Now, I'm older than probably most of you that are watching this video. I'm 76 years old. I've been fishing since I was five years old. So that means that I have gone fishing and I have caught fish that I could not get a photographic record of unless somebody was there with early on a black and white camera and then you know a colorized camera so you know I've seen it and you know the stories oh how was the fishing well I got one you know about this big you know you see the fingers right there right okay but I'm telling you folks last night I was down at my neighbor's tank and this is the second time this has happened in the last two weeks I caught two I've caught two very nice bass with no photographic record but what I thought I would do is just show you what I did now fishing in a tank is a little bit different in my opinion than a regular big lake or a stream because basically particularly now with the water that has gone down the food sources for the fish are you know not as abundant as they used to be so you have got to be aware of what is the natural looking what is the natural bait that's available for the fish in the area? What does it look like? Can you imitate it or get close to it? And of course, you've always got to watch color clarity of the water versus what you're going to be using as a soft plastic. And I'm, I'm using soft plastic. Now, my little rod that I used here, little guy it's four to ten pound test it's a sam super sensitive it's about six and a half feet long now when i started out yesterday i was using a soft bait very similar to this had color now the water i'm going to tell you was somewhat stained it had some clarity to it down to maybe six inches or so so i cast that a number of times and didn't get anything and then i said you know i've learned from listening to some of the other programs jimmy houston richard gene the fishing machine particularly he is one that really goes after trying to find the matchup baits and i found that i had this live motion lucky strike drop dead and it's black and I've learned that in that stained water a dark color would work better and now I thought that this little guy might have been dark enough but it wasn't and I'll tell you exactly what happened I flipped over to one of these guys, changed out, changed out what we've got here. And guys and gals, I'm not kidding you, two casts, two fish. The first fish was really a very nice bass, probably 16 to 17 inches long, probably weighing in a two pound class, healthy, healthy. The next cast, I got another one, and no kidding, that was one of those guys. It was about, if it pushed six inches, that's what it was. 
Now those were the only two fish I got for the night. That was it. I made a number of other casts. Those were the only two fish I got. I got a couple other hits, but no fish. So what I'm telling you is go out, have fun. And if you don't have a recording of it, just share it anyway. So I'm just sharing what I used, the fun I had, and I just know this, fishing is good for you. We will see you again. In fact, I'm planning on coming down to this location tomorrow in my kayak. Tomorrow is supposed to be, according to my little bass calculator, supposed to be a good day. So I'm going to spend some time in all of those trees and see what I can pull up. I will have my camera with me and I hope to not run out of battery power. And my goal is, is to show you some fish. So God bless you all. We will see you again. Check out my cast to the other side video, which I posted today. Ladies, this is something special for you. So enjoy it. And we will see you again. I'm going fishing 21-3 and I'm going tomorrow.